If you're a restaurant and still operating, then congratulations because more than 60% of restaurants that closed down because of COVID are out of business completely. For the rest of the 40%, they're either struggling or either they're thriving. And today we're gonna to be covering strategies on the ones that are actually thriving. So if you're watching this, make sure you pay attention and I'm gonna uncover all the secrets with you until the very end. Hey guys, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a profitable restaurant. Just wanna give a major, major shout out to these two individuals for giving us so much positive vibes. And that's a community that I wanna be able to create a positive, loving, and supportive community. So if you wanna get featured, make sure you guys leave us comments in the section below, so then that way you get your chance to be featured. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. First and foremost, if you want to survive and thrive in this whole pandemic, you need to make sure you diversify. You cannot rely on the traditional way of revenue, which is simply dine in as a service. And because the COVID does come in waves, there are moments that the government would ease up opening and basically if you're just waiting on dine-in as your revenue source then unfortunately that's just not going to happen because as we can see in LA currently they're back in shutting down lockdown mode so we don't know how long this whole COVID is going to last for and that's the reason why you need to be prepared to diversify your income stream and not just rely on dine-in as a service. Now how do you diversify? Some examples that we can talk about would be delivery as an option, curbside pickup, meal prep kits, online courses, events, and these are all great ways to diversify. And if you want to learn more about how to diversify, definitely check out this video where I talk about diversification and the different revenue streams you can count on. The second strategy for you to survive and thrive through this whole pandemic is for you to transform your menu. And how are you gonna transform it and why that's the case? It is because Today's mindset, the state of the people that are consuming food right now, they're looking for something comforting because with all the political unrest, with all the unease with the disease passing around, people just seek for comfort. That's the reason why we need to adapt to that and offer them what they need. In addition to that, we need to create menu items that are good for delivery. For example, if you're offering fries as a core menu item, then unfortunately that might not be the best option. Why is that the case? It is because after 30 minutes of your fries being stuck in that box, many times it comes out soggy. And that really truly deteriorates the quality of your offering, which is the reason why you need to understand and transform your menu to items that are good for delivery as well, that has high margins and that are comforting for your customers. And as you can see, my good friend Mark Canlis, running one of the top restaurants in Seattle, he runs a fine dining restaurant and he transformed that into comfort delivery food. So then that way he can actually do even more business than before. The third way to navigate through this whole pandemic is to leverage technology. I know a lot of us don't really understand how to use technology to help our business and our restaurant out. And that's the reason why oftentimes we turn a blind eye on it. We just don't think it's a, as a priority. However, in today's world, it is gonna be a priority. We need to digitalize our menu so then that way when people come and search for your restaurant, they can order straight from their mobile phone. We need to be able to utilize QR codes so then that way when people come in through your restaurant, you don't need to rely on your menu, uh, physical menu. You can actually have a QR code on your table and have your customers scan it and automatically the menu shows up on the phone. These are just some ways that you can leverage technology to better enhance your efficiency. Another reason why technology is so important is that you can now transform your website into an e-commerce shop. Now, why would you wanna do that? The first point that we talked about for you to survive and thrive is to diversify. So many of my clients are now productizing their offering. And what I mean by that is I see some of my clients turning their signature sauces into packages that they can actually sell online and thus made a ton of money and diversified into another stream of revenue so then that way they're not relying strictly on dine-in as a service. 
And this is all thanks to being able to sell their products online, on their own e-commerce platform on their website. And that's the reason why we need to start learning how to leverage technology to our benefit. The fourth way for you to navigate through this pandemic is to ensure safety as a priority. Because right now, safety is definitely top of mind for your customers. When they're walking by a restaurant, they just need a glance for them to even decide whether they want to come in to dine at your restaurant or not. So if you do not have the proper protocols, then unfortunately you're gonna lose out on the remaining customers that might come in. Some of the safety protocols that you should prioritize would be, for example, limiting the seating. And of course, everything that I'm gonna be mentioning are already strictly enforced with different cities and different health officials. But I still wanna be able to share with you for some of you guys that don't have this as a mandatory protocol. So for example, pexiglass for the cashiers, pexiglass to ensure that when uh, your customers and you are communicating, there is a separation. We can also make sure that when people come in, they're sanitized, we check their temperature, and then we, when we bring them to their tables, they are six feet apart at the very least. And then also when your um, staff, make sure that they always wear masks and wear gloves. And that really just gives you as a consumer a sense of confidence that this place takes safety and hygiene to the next degree. And that gives them the confidence to be able to come and shop and condine at your place. To give you an example, a few weeks ago, I had a business meeting with my friend in downtown. And when I went to the restaurant, I had a pleasant experience because I feel like, oh, you know what? They take their safety very, very seriously. It was one way traffic, all their staff were wearing masks and also gloves. And on top of that, all the tables are super far apart. They, when they leave, leave their uh, food and also the utensils, they leave it at a corner. So then that way you can grab it yourself and all these just to give you as a consumer a really good sense that this company takes hygiene to the next level. And because of that, I booked my anniversary with my wife at this restaurant and ended up spending even more money with them, all because of the fact that they have gained the, my confidence and gained my trust to dine in at their restaurant. Another reason is because of fear. When we talk to our friends now, oftentimes the topic comes about, hey, you know what? When was the last time you dined out? Where did you dine out? And when they talk about your restaurant, they can either talk about it in a bright note or a negative note. So if they come to your restaurant, they don't feel that you take your hygiene safely, seriously, then they're gonna talk about it with their friends. And when they talk about it with their friends, it just spreads like wildfire. On the other note, if they have a great experience at your restaurant, if they have a great impression, and if they have a great experience just like I did, then I would share it with everyone, just like how I'm sharing with you my experience with this great restaurant. Something that I really want you to take away from this video is that the big guys are all shifting towards a delivery as a service. And what I mean by that is when Chipotle is committing to more than 60% of their new restaurants with a drive-through experience, and when Starbucks is reformatting, remodeling their existing restaurants to include drive-in, then we know something is up. We know that when these big companies are investing millions of dollars in these best practices, then we know that this trend is here to stay. And that's precisely why we've done the research and I'm shooting this video to share with you guys these information so then that way you guys can adapt, survive, and thrive in this pandemic. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and if you guys want more training on how do you build a successful, profitable restaurant, make sure you guys click in the description below to find our live training. In this live training, we talk about how do you build a restaurant from scratch, from finding your lease to finding your own food offering to locating your ideal customers to actually having customers through the doors and lining up all the time. This is the training for you. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe along this whole journey, and I'll see you guys in the next video.